right, first off, just ignore the way the video looks. I haven't updated my drivers. I know that's taboo, but I haven't really gotten around to it on my 64 bit PC. We're gonna jump into modeling. First, I'm gonna grab this by right clicking, and I'm going to hit Shift D and left click to set it back onto the plane. I'm gonna hit M and I'm gonna move it. So we're going to move over to the next palette or plane or whatever. And this has already been sized up for the previous model that I showed. So we might have some scaling issues if I sign it to an armature. I'm going to hit right click. I'm going to hit shift S and send my cursor to selection. That's very important because sometimes if your cursor it looks like it's here and it's really out here, then you might think, all right, well, it looks good here, but in reality, it's a mile away. So shift S, cursor to selection. Hit number one on the number pad to move one in. And we're going to hit space, add armature. Now, there's the anatomy of the armature. Here's the tail, here's the body, here's the top. Remember that in Neo Axis because sometimes uh, Blender is different from Neo Axis in terms of where to what side is up. Um, I'll figure out which one is what because I had some trouble with a model before. Won't get into detail. But I'm going to move this right here and I'm going to start editing. You can take the tip and move it along the X, Y, Z, whatever. But this is the hatch to the back of the weapon. I'm going to grab the head and I'm going to extrude. Now you notice from another head, it extrudes another head. From a tail, it also extrudes another head. That's just how it works. So this, I'm going to also hit Shift D, the copy. Hit left click, that'll set it back down. And I'm going to move this over here to scale it down we don't need this so I'm gonna delete that but those are two ways to set a bone you can copy one and which it will send you to make a, another bone right here which is bone 002 or you can extrude one and then off-center it by hitting the off-center button this off down here All right, now I'm going to send that back down there again. And I'm going to tab back into object mode and I'm going to right click the mesh, hold shift and right click the body, sorry, the armature and hit control P. That parents the first object to the second object because you highlighted the first one, which is always going to be the child or the follower and you're gonna tell the follower or the child which one is leading. Just remember that, that'll save you a lot of time and frustration. So I selected the armature, then I am going to tell uh, the single bones to stick to the group that's closest. Now, the problem with doing that is that it actually does listen to you, but not the same exact way you want it to, because we have some bones that are in between groups. So keep that in mind. You might, or right, here's the scaling issue I talked about because we took this from a previous one that I already scaled up. So I'm going to hit tab, jump to edit mode, and scale it out and move it. Scale it and move it. That's good enough for me right now. Hit tab, I'm jumping out. I'm going to right click the bones, select the bones, and go into pose mode. From pose mode, I select the bone here. Let's go with this one down here for the, for the hatch down here. I'm going to right click the frame. But before doing so, sorry, but before doing so, I'm going to hit X ray. X ray allows me to, I'm going to hit Z, Z, to see the bones through the whole mesh. And I can pretty much work easily from there instead of having to click around or peek through and grab something. So from pose mode, you can right click the mesh. I'm assuming that wave painting has not been done. We're going to, like I
like I said, these this armature is on two different meshes. Sorry, two different groups. Right here is a group down here. I'm gonna hit A to highlight. I'm gonna hit L to highlight another group. And this is a hatch door, so I'm gonna cover this real quick. This is gonna be a sloppy job, mind you, because you have to do things. It's just it's just how it's gonna be right now. I don't want to go into detail on how I get everything going. By the way, the exporter will cry that uh, some objects are to assign too many bones. So you can also add another bone in the handle just to parent this part, this part, this part, this part. Sorry, way paint, not parent. Just to way paint everything to a bone just to stop it from crying if you want to. So from pose mode, you can hit G and see it automatically move with not only the the uh, two bodies that uh, they're intersecting with, but hold on, I'm gonna hit L. I'm gonna hit subtract. Sorry, mix. I'm gonna drag down the weight down to zero because it should weigh nothing for this, and I'm gonna get the corners. You can't see it. But well, it's been done on automatically because, like I said before, it's uh, it's close enough, so it don't think, don't create from from group names or whatever. All right, I'll just grab whatever's nearby. All right, as you see, I didn't do the inside, but it moves the hatch, and that's sort of the point of what's going on. Right Hitting one on the number, sorry, control one on the number pad sends me back to the other side in which we are working on. Now jumping into animation mode. This left side is for bones. This is the obvious. Now here's the timeline. It's easier to move along timelines. If you you can also use your mouse to zoom in and out, but it's easier to move and navigate. And on the far right we have the more the more advanced IPO curve. IPO curve is like the blueprint of bones as far as where they go, their scale, rotation, and you can set them to to um be you can set everything to be smooth or jerky. Like for example, you can set an I curve. Sorry, you can set an IP curve to allow your bone to go like this. You can set it to go like this, or you can set it to go like this. You can pretty much do a lot with the curves, because like I said, that's just a fine tune um, used behind bone uh, animation. So then, just to start off, we're going to make a new action down here. Add new, let's call it zoom, for no reason, let's call it zoom. 